one knight, one wizard, and a random Xena clone. It's Destructo Cat Gaming in Divine Divinity, Episode 6. Yes. Alright, so we got a few options to go for here. Can we get to that zombie? Yeah, it's beyond the gates. I thought but that... They, they said we were wimps and couldn't cut it out there. Yeah, they, they won't let you through. Did it sprout legs and run well, away? I mean, they can. Here, hold on. Greeting. To leave the city is to venture into danger. Says you don't look like you're quite ready to head out into the undead infested wilds. Also, a party of one or two runs the risk of being outflanked and outnumbered. I'd bring backup. We have backup. Yeah, I so, guess we they give us a choice. I guess we got other stuff to do, though. Alright, And we're this. about to level. Bye. Yeah. So, okay, so this is the, uh... Well, we can go back to that murder scene and see if we can actually inspect the body and not get teleported to pocket dimensions. Yeah. Let's do it. And, uh, end up at the end of time. The little goblin guy. Zigzags. The sound of our footsteps reminds me of being in the army. <laughs> Forward march. Alright, let's try this one more time. Oh, painting of a rooster. It doesn't have any teeth to go along with it. Okay, so we did. Oh, an inert stone. Let's close the door while we're in here. That way, if we pick up anything, we're not supposed to. No, it's all uh, free game. Of course, it's locked. All right. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to sit in the middle of the murder scene, and you go discover things. Let me Say know when what? you figure it out. Well, I think... I look good. Oh, no, I'm looking good. You're stepping in the... blood. I was sitting in it earlier. That didn't seem to have bothered you. We're all walking you. through the blood. It reminds me of the... What, oh sh what is that from the Charlie the Unicorn site? The cat? Detective cat or something like that? I Muff don't think I've seen that one. Muffins the detective uh, cat. It's pretty stupid. Look at this. We're, we're actually like making... puddles in the blood. Uh, yeah. Well, basically it's, a, it's like a detective kitten. And she just sits there and goes meow 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 all the time. And then there's like a dead body sitting there, and there's a serious detective with it. And the cat just keeps jumping onto the bodies and like kneading her paws around and throwing blood everywhere. And he's like, oh, oh, stop! It's pretty <laughs> ridiculous. It's almost like Carl. So, so any ideas? Well, we probably want to get into this chest, but it's locked. Break it? Nope. Stand back. No, no, no. I mean, it, it's really strong. You did 30 damage to it. Yeah, and look how little it affected the chest. Yeah. This, this would take a while. Yeah. It's still on fire. Maybe I can catch it more on fire. <laughs> I'm really gonna sit around and wait for this thing. <laughs> oh, the mirror said looking good. I didn't know mirrors could talk. I mean, nothing surprises me anymore after pocket dimensions like that. I think it's working because it's taking ROT too. Oh, 
about halfway down. <laughs> it's getting there. There's a key or something. You'll find a key probably right when there's about 10 hit points left. Well, holding down alt has given us nothing. This is the best way to investigate crime scenes, just take some huge fire bolts of fire and... And teleporting it. <laughs> we made Gotham detective. There it goes. You caught on fire! It's official. Ah, the Duke of Feral is Duke. the worst poet in Rivalon. In his defense, not much rhymes with murder. Hold on, let me read this letter. Level up. After we level up, of course. Wait, only you leveled up. I guess that chest was worth a lot. I don't know. I only have 15 experience to level up, though. Uh, Alright, so I got a letter from the Duke of Farrell. Farrell. F-E-R-O-L. Okay. It says, Dearest Esme, your lips are red as emeralds, your hair is black as birch, your love is like cholesterol, and oh, my heart, it hurts. I want to hold you in my arms and stroke your little head, and all this would be easier if Counselor Jake were dead. Forever yours, the D of F. The, okay, I, I really can't say what's on my mind about D of F, but I'm sure you can all figure it out. Everything we do seems to fortify your abilities. I suppose your example has inspired me to reach heights I've never envisioned. There's no experience to be won from pestering me with a vapid flattery. Oh, pfft. Fine then. That room, so utterly diseased by source. Horrible, I say. If I weren't already sure if magic were a travesty of nature, one look at that crime scene would have convinced me. Whoever committed this crime used magic for ill purpose indeed, but not all arcane. No, wait, no. I don't want to do that. Indeed, and the culprit will suffer doubly once caught. Once for committing the crime, and once for employing means so foul. <laughs> As I'm talking to a wizard right now. By your logic, Oh, it took away. Usually it lets me read it after I click it. Never mind. Oh. Oh, it seems I've stirred the cauldron. Now, I'm a reasonable woman. And don't advocate whole hog hatred of a thing without just cause. But in my experience, magical surprises are typically the doom and destruction variety. Sorry, had a distraction. Okay. Look, a distraction. But as for hanging you fine folk for fighting witchy fire with fire, why, hopefully we all know I wouldn't hear of it. Well. 
So it seems she kind of sided with the whole, uh... Magic exists. Get used to it. But it shouldn't be used for evil anyway. So now, it seems we've got to find the Duke of Pharaoh. Murder for the sake of love. You didn't take the pet pal thing, did you? Nope. So we're not going to be able to talk to good old unsinkable Sam. Ooh, paintings. Why are you always trying to rob everybody? Hey, hey, hey. I should be able to use any and all resources. Careful, comrades! There are feathered source abominations trying them out. Uh-oh. Undead? No, them. Cool. <gasps> it's a sheep. Little fatty sheep. What are we off to? Greetings. Bye. Man, I bet you we could talk to these sheep. Um, trying to find the Duke of Farrell right now. Which Explore one? Explore areas unseen before, and this leads to nowhere. Reginald. We need to do the Arius thing where. Wait, oh! The Legionnaires have been gone for quite some time. Arius doesn't know. We should try to find the Legionnaires at the church. Oh, the church. Hold on. I see the Legion headquarters, but I don't see any church. Little carnival over here. Gallagher. Oh, that chicken has a very red tail or a green tail. Hey, there's a talking head over here. Hmm. You know that old trick of cutting a hole in the wood and sticking your head out on a platter. I'm going to talk to Reginald. You there, take a seat. Prepare to laugh your head off, cry your eyes out, and teeter on the edge of your seat with an original tale from Stefan, the talking severed head. Well, we can tip him one shiny gold piece, ten shiny gold pieces. Tell me about the talking head. I don't think, I don't, I don't think uh, his head is. I don't think he's sticking it through a hole because it's a stealing thing. If you t if you click on it, I think you could actually pick his head up and run. All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna turn any heads. <laughs> that's right, a talking head, and he doesn't just talk. He'll weave you a yarn so said, fantastic you'll be begging to hear just one more oh, and whoa. just one more. It's quite a story how I found him too. You want to hear the story or? Had a great thirst for color. So ardently did he crave creamy blue. Sure, if it's not too long. I obtained this curio by some rather sensational means. You see, I was diving in search of a rare medicinal sea Today, herb. I volunteered at the local children's apothecary on weekends in the shallows around, around Cecile's own black cove when I spotted something amazing that just belonged Fantastic. to the fabled Captain Firebeard, the most prolific pirate of days of old. Though the chest was stuck fast, I summoned a swell of great strength and prized it free from the ancient rock. I had the treasure of a lifetime in my very hands, but then, slurp go, I was swallowed by an ornery kraken that seemed to appear from nowhere. In the hubbub, I lost hold of my prize and watched it sink to the bottom of the beast's cavernous belly. 
Still, I feared only for a moment that all was futile. Before my mind's eye swam the faces of the many war widows and leprotic orphans who would be lost without my charitable support, and I knew I had to live. Grabbing fast to the hilt of a cutlass that floated by at that moment, I summoned all my strength to slash a great gash in the creature's gut. Freeing myself from my would-be tomb, I swam as quickly as I could, first to the surface and then to the shore. It was there along the rocky beach that I tripped over this talking head. Strange, isn't it? Well, that was more about his adventures than the frickin' it is head. Said, and this I have heard and he was talking, not the head. Who knew I? Who is yeah. said to have known Sigurd himself? That, the king that was Reginald. The talking head, so I don't think we can talk to directly because we can only pick him up. So we can have a tip, we can leave a tip, or just leave. Try to snatch the head. Alright, I'll distract him. A talking head? Uh, what dark okay, or he just walks is. straight to it. I think he knows what we're planning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he can only look one direction, so... There we go. Alright, quick, quick. See if you can sneak and grab it. Oh, I thought you were going to do it. You're the sneaky one. Alright, fine. Here. Right. Uh, here we go. Fantastic. Can I help you? Too many people watching. It's not working. Okay, let's go. Farewell. Hold on. So ardently did again. he crave creamy blues and gory reds that he ordered a contest across the really? realm. Really? Oh, attitude. Oh, oh, yeah. Because I tipped him. What is all that stuff? These packages. I'm trying to block their view. <laughs> awesome. But it's not working. Here, let me try it from the other side. Hmm, he has antique leather armor for sale. Well, well. Oops, crap. I did well, not well. want to do that. Today, I think a king. Ha. The great Sigurd and his rainbow Fantastic. of war machine. <laughs> Oops. It is said. Oh, I'm just making him all kinds of upset. Who knew he took damage. Who knew Elliot, who is said to have known Sigurd himself. That the My king word. had a great thirst for color. So ardently Excuse did he crave me, creamy blues and words. gory reds that he ordered. Yeah, too many of these people are watching. They don't, they don't want us to do it. He's suspicious. He knows people are going to try and steal his head. Yeah. It's probably That's just like a dead person's head and he's trying to run a scam. Probably. But, I mean, he likes you, so. This is a carnival looking place, so. Doesn't surprise me. I really need to find this church. Oh, the river it comes by right here. Hi. What's in here? I see him get a rat. Oh, oh God. and a beggar. Beggar. So it's flop house, squatting house. What's over here? Another city gate. And we're right back to where we were. Yeah, we have a ton of quests, so there's gotta be somebody close by that we're supposed to be talking to. And yet we've explored almost the entire city. Except for up here. What do you know about the undead plague? 
Nope, that's another city gate. I guess we're going to have to go outside the uh, city gates then. Oh, here we go. I found a little area that Farewell. doesn't have city gates, so I guess we're meant to investigate this area. Follow me! My door is wadum. Why? I'm not sure. Too much armor? That's why those chainmail bikinis are so popular. <laughs> For life on the beach and battling orcs at the same time. Here we go. To leave the city is to venture into danger. Oh. Be careful. Sorcerer. Oh dear. How come they warned me but here. not you? Oh, oh. go. Uh -huh. They're level three. I'm about to just let them come this way and save action points so we can just swarm them. I'm trying to figure out a good place to put a fire down where you can still get to them. You'll have enough action points to come around and flank them, right? All the way over there? No. No, if they come over here, I'll just put a fire right in front of us. Okay. I don't think I have enough action points, though. I need to get my action points up to where I can do both in one turn. I don't know if that's possible. And that's why I skip my turns entirely. Now we have all these action points saved up. Into it. The other one might. Maybe. Ooh. So I'm thinking that my staff of mages doesn't damage you if you're in between, but the other ones do. There we go. Ooh, they have a man down. What is that little guy? <laughs> Zombie. This is why I saved all my action points. Throw one of them onto the fire. Yeah, I'll probably throw the uh, undead swordsman over there. Get him, get him. That thing does quite a bit of damage. Mm. Maybe now you can learn yeah. something useful, like how to wash your under things. I hope you're talking to Medora, not me. I can't... I can't put him into the fire. Why? It's out of sight. Because <laughs> there's... Smoke above it? Or is that a... I can't tell if that's smoke. It's not moving. It must be just a burn. Oh! What? Looks like they're gonna come help. They finally woke up. It's about time, y'all. 
<laughs> it gets all bright when it comes on the guards, but it's all dark and dreary over here. Okay, this isn't going to hurt you, is it? Does it go through me? We don't know yet if it's going... If it's going through you and hitting you, or if it's area effect hitting you. So we'll find out, I guess. It's oh, not crap. going... It's not going... The last time this happened, I died from your magic. It's not going through you, so we'll find out. If it arches over, then you're fine. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how close you are to the striking point, it just matters if you're in between. Whoa! Yikes. What? Oh. It must be a passive ability of his. Yeah. Ow? Now we don't want those people to come help because we want all the experience. Ooh, this hurts. As long as you don't die. He's burning, so he'll eat this. Alright. That's pretty much over. Oh, I know. That's me burning. <laughs> Alright, we got Oh, it. these guys are hitting them, I think. Is that it? I'm going to die. No, we don't have any re resurrect. I do. <gasps> okay, never mind. Hold on. Whew. Well, it's better I if I have it because you're always up front. Hold on. I'll give them to you directly. If I could freaking find it. Where did they go? I just had them. North Wilderness, West Lighthouse. Alright, I got them to you. <gasps> we get another talent. So now... You get a level up? Well, not just a level up, but I get a, uh, a talent. Yeah, I got one too. I, I, I picked uh, Elemental Affinity, so if I'm standing on something... Like, if I'm standing on dirt, I guess, like right here, I would want to use earth spells, you know? If I'm standing yeah. on fire, I could use... Let Jeez. me go stand in the fire so I can make my spells stronger. Well, that's episode six, so... Thanks for watching, everyone, and hope you join us again for the next episode. Bye!